Earth. Emerald. And today this is this game where it tells us what an object that starts with a rock and we have to name something that beats rock and then something that beats what we named and something that... So let's go paper beats rock. A lot of people said that. Stapler. Staples. Yeah. Gun. <coughs> yeah. Sword. Does that work? No, it doesn't. Try <laughs> Medieval action <laughs> movie. Okay, let's start again. Paper. Scissors. How do you spell scissors? Scissors. Scissors. Let's just say that. Okay, cool. Uh, why does scissors spell like that? Rock. I oh, know repeats. Knife. Large knife. It's not size that matters. Okay, fair. Paper. Scissors. Um. Okay, let's do with knife. Sword. Shield. A sword might be sharp, but a shield blocks it like a bad joke at a comedy club. <laughs> okay. I like this. Um, shield. Gun. What? Okay, fair. No, I don't want to share, actually. Um, so let's restart. Scissors. Um, fire, sure. Water bending. Ninja move. <laughs> okay. Um, sponge. First person to bring water and sponge. I'm screenshotting that. Uh, sponge. Um. Oh, what beats a sponge? Okay. Uh. So fire and scissors are already done. So. Crossbow. Yes. First person to ever use that. Alright, what else? Uh, armadillo. Yes! Armadillo, like, has really sharp, uh, no, uh, good skin, so. Uh, armadillo human. No one's beating a human. A uh, human. Bender. I want to do bender, but it wouldn't really work. It's like the avatar. Let's go. The avatar is a powerful being that can control the elements, where a human is just, well, a human. Ha! <laughs> Okay, um, Ava and Rava. 
I think that's how you spell his name. Rava is the spirit of the avatar. So yeah, it's like saying boss beats the employee. Oh my god, I am so good. How does it know this? This is amazing. Uh, Omni Man. That's good. Omni Man beats him. Wait, no, actually, Omni Man would not beat Rava. Oh well, let's do it. Uh, I don't know if I should do Homelander or not. Because, you know, Homeland is weak. No! Homeland is too many mommy issues to focus. Okay, we got so far. Um. Midas. Yeah, let's try Midas. Midas beats paper. Uh, <laughs> Midas turns paper to gold. Now that's valuable upgrade. Uh, let me just close this window. Pollen. Okay. Marigold. Let's see if that works. Um, Midas turns everything to gold, but a marigold is a flower that's already golden. So it's like, hey Midas, you're a little late to the <laughs> I was thinking Marigold's or uh, Marigold is Midas's daughter. But okay. Um let's try weed. <laughs> like uh, like a weed and a plant, not you know. Marijuana. <sighs> cocaine. What? Weed is chill, laid back cousin. Cocaine is trying too hard. Stay mellow, my friend. That's pretty good. E11. I'm bad at numbers. Blaster. Blaster. Nuke. Goku. Gojo. Uh. Goji. So, why did three other people do this? Say Tama. If it's just a bald guy, I swear to God. What? What? Paper, sure. One punch man. Wait. One punch man obliterates paper with a single punch. It's like bringing a bazooka to a paper cut fight. <laughs> Um, of, uh, Rav is a mythical creature, but one punch one can still punch into oblivion. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, let's try to get one punch man. God. Jesus. Jesus would not win. Yeah, okay. Uh, paper, yeah, sure. Um, okay. Paper might cover rock, but loves corner. So, A, C, U, well. Is it <laughs> sexual orientation isn't a competition, folks. We'll celebrate diversity instead of trying to one up each other. Straight. Papers are okay, that's fair. Let's 
Try Gaden straight. Yeah, okay. Dinner is ready. So one second. Gun. Rocket. Nuke. Right, so. D. Higgins. Haha, <laughs> the president of Ireland is not going to launch a nuke. That's not his style, no. <laughs> that is so good. Zeus. 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 Zeus has to beat Michael. Yeah, okay. This is gonna be good because Nyx does kind of beat. Nyx a primordial goddess. Thirty nine other people. I'm not special. Nyx is a primordial goddess of the night. It's one of the few beings Zeus himself feared. Even the king of the gods needs his beauty sleep. Um. Okay. Ah, a walk and beat Nyx. God. Yeah. Ah, God and Nyx for some. God is often just considered all powerful. And Nyx is just a Greek god and knight. Not exactly a fair fight. Uh hmm. Okay, who beats God? Flying Spaghetti Monster. <gasps> the Flying Spaghetti Monster is a deity of its own. It brings a side of humor to the table. Plus, who can't resist a deity made of pasta? Bill Cipher. Oh, that's cool. Bill Cipher, the triangular mastermind, would outsmart the Flying Spaghetti Monster's noodly apped app. Appendages any day. Okay, who beats Bill Cipher? Grun close Dan. Ha <laughs> ha. Third to guess this. Grunkle Stan is a clever and con artist. He would swindle Bill out Cipher out of his own dimension. Okay. This is great. Uh who who beats Grunkle Stan? Bellows. Is this actually gonna work? I've never heard of Bellows. Grunkle Stan is a good beloved character. Unless you cannot beat the legend of nobody. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, let's try Grunkle Stan with this. Grunkle Stan. Apparently, no one can beat him. <laughs> Why did 14 people do that? God. Uh huh, that makes sense. So people can beat him. What about Bill Cipher? Can he beat God? No. Paper. Death. Death. Ray. Oh, let's go. Um, inter, uh, yeah, internet. YouTube. YouTube's not. Oh, it did work. Okay. Um, so no. She can. I have no idea what a cheating is, but I'm pretty sure it's not a video sharing platform. <laughs> That's great. 
paper. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a youngling. Come on, folks. Crap and poo are basically the same thing. Let's keep it classy, shall we? Okay, go. Crap. They're basically the same thing, but crap, the first one, poo, is a bit more refined. Alright, let's go again. What if we do, like, a different one? Me. Paper, really? I'm a human being. Can crumple, tear, and recycle paper next time. Try something with a bit more backbone. Human. Can a human beat me? Well, me is a human, so the only logical thing that human beats me. Tiger. Lion. Yeah, lion obviously beats the tiger. Hippo. Yes. Rhino. 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 Rhino dinosaur. Dinosaur. Space rock. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty good. Space rock and crash and planets wipe out dinosaurs is cosmic. Um, Omni Man. Uh, Alan the Alien. Alan the Alien. <laughs> Alan the Alien is a powerful being from the Invincible comic series. The Omni Man is just a superhero, no match for an intergalactical entity. They both are, though. Um. Avatar. Kiyoshi. Yeah, we're doing this, guys. No way, Avatar Kyoshi is is a powerful being with bending abilities, while Alan the Alien is just an alien. It's like comparing a superhero to a tourist. <laughs> no way. Uh, well, what's the other guy's name? Like Rava and Ratui or something? Ah. Mm. Uh. Fire Lord No I'm not actually gonna do that. Um Who's like the most powerful character? So there's Avatar One ah, yeah. Avatar One Come on <gasps> One is was a more powerful avatar than Kyoshi, historically speaking. Sorry Kyoshi man. That's pretty good. Okay, there's only one person. Spirits could probably beat them. Yes. Spirits are the one who created this avatar, so they're basically the bosses. Exactly. Um, what are they called? The, like, turtle islands. Turtle... Um, lion turtles. Lion. Turtle... Let's go. The face stealer. Let's go. The face stealer sounds like a mythical creature. That would for a lion turtle making it superior. The mother of 
all faces. The mother of all faces would likely be more powerful than a mere face dealer. It sounds about like a family It's all about the family dynamic, folks. No way. This is so fun. I like the face thing. One of them has a face, one of them doesn't. <sighs> what? <coughs> she tongue. He who knows. Ten thousand. Ten thousand things. I'm mad. I'm bad. Ten thousand thing. Thing. Please know of it. Wang Chi Tan, who knows 10,000 things, does not make the mother of all <laughs> The mother of all faces is a mythical entity. Wang Chi Tan is just a dude with a lot of knowledge. No contest. No way. That, the disrespect in that. I would not have that. That is insane. Good, good angle to screenshot that. Okay, um. Ang. Ang is not a thing, and even if it was, it wouldn't be rock. Hey! Ang. <laughs> Roku. What? God. Ang. Avatar Roku Avatar Cora Avatar Kyo She Kyo She's not a water vendor. Well, she is, but like, you know. Avatar 1. Avatar 2. That one other person, I bet it was me, because I also did this. Um. Wong Shi Tong. I have no idea what either of those things are, but Avatar 1 sounds way cooler. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, Jesus would probably win. Uh, God, no. Holy... S no. Cherub. Cherub. Cherubs are just cute winged babies in heaven while Jesus is, you know, the son of God, not exactly a f The disrespect! Cherubs. Cherubs are cute, but they can't cover paper. They're too busy being adorable. What is wrong with cherubs? Fine. Seraphim. A seraphim is mythological. 
I don't think I have anything. Not a physical object that can interact with paper. Nice try though. Okay. Uh, Arch Angels. Paper. Okay, fair. Um. Jesus. Holy Spirit. It's not really a physical thing, though. Right, it's a tie. Okay. Jesus. Let's try God. God. Well, you can't really top the big guy upstairs. Jesus might walk on water, but God created the water in the first place. God. Uh. Uh, God Father. <laughs> yes! The Godfather is more specific and powerful entity just than just generic God. The Grey. The, the Grandfather. The Great. Grand Father. Great grandfather is one of the generations that had the father making him a clear winner. Great, great, great grandfather. Adding more grades doesn't make it greater. Just more of it. <laughs> Makes him older, though. Um. Cool. But. Meant to be another T. But can sit on poo, but poo can't sit on butt. That's just anatomy. B. B can sting butt, but butt can't do much to be wasp. Is that an S? Wasps are generally more aggressive than bees, they're probably winning the fight. Hmm. Hmm. I did not know that it was a currency. That who is a character from the Legend of Korra, but it doesn't do much to paper. Okay. Rava. <laughs> Gun. Ang. Cora. What? And is the original avatar. What? I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> Go 
on and Start name Talk Avatar the Last Airbender, who is the face stealer? Top. The face stealer, according to Screen Rant. Co. Co is the face stealer. Ang's face is pretty valuable asset. Not a good day for the avatar. Um, the mother of all faces. Hmm. Okay. Ang. The mother of all faces. Okay. The mother of all faces, a powerful entity. Ang is just a kid with an arrow on his head. Um. What? I forgot if that's even how it's spelled. The monster, the mother of all faces, and uh, who is the spirit of darkness in the legend of Korra? That. According to Game Rant. Really. Okay, let's just not do Avatar. Um, scissors. No. Oh, no. Water. A bottle contains water. Brick. A brick is easily smashed above water, just like a tank in a water balloon fight. Um, can. Sure. River can sweep by the cannon or the beavers. Global warming. <laughs> beavers can't even begin to comprehend the scale of global warming. Never mind, stop it. The hmm. sun. The sun is a main contributor. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay, so what is there? Uh, to beat the sun. There is... Apollo. Okay, Apollo's got the sun, so it's like saying the boss beats the employee. Um... Athena. Uh, 
not sure. Aries. Aphrodite. Hades. Poseidon. Perhaps I spelt it right. Hera. Zeus Nyx Kronos Nyx is a Greek god of the night, Kronos is her son, what? No it isn't Is Kronos the son of Nyx? Zeus is not related, not related to Nyx. What the hell is this? Ah, uh, so it's chaos. Okay, yes, that is true. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. By subscribe, please.